America and India have often enjoyed a fractious relationship going back decades. The thaw began under Presidents Clinton and Bush. Now Barack Obama, just the sixth president to visit this huge country, has arrived and he's talking partnerships in trade and countering terror. Symbolically, his first official function was at the rebuilt Taj Mahal Hotel on the Mumbai waterfront. Scene of one of the terror attacks in 2008, 31 people died here. He met survivors and relatives and signed a book of remembrance to those who died. He missed no opportunity in drawing parallels to the 9-11 attacks in the United States. Our governments have worked closer than ever, sharing intelligence, preventing more attacks, and demanding that the perpetrators be brought to justice. Indeed, today, the United States and India are working together more closely than ever to keep our people safe. A huge admirer of Mahatma Gandhi, the president visited the Peacemakers' Home, now a museum in Mumbai. Over 250 business leaders have joined the president on his longest trip to a single country. Mutual trade agreements could help the United States, and doubtless the president is sending a message home after the midterm election drubbing that he is working for jobs, and India could be the key. By pursuing trade and commerce, we are unleashing the most powerful force the world has ever known for eradicating poverty and creating opportunity, and that's broad-based economic growth. Now, despite all this progress, the economic relationship between the United States and India is still one of enormous untapped potential. For now, this trip is about business. What's not clear yet, though, is just how much he can get from India and how much he'll have to give. Stuart Ramsey, Sky News, India.